Hi viewers, this is the Smart Excel world. and uh, <clears throat> welcome to this video. In this, I would like to show you something called Formula Maker. Like we have a King Maker, is something called Formula Maker, which is a very many people do, don't get the logic inside this. So if you have something called sum function, <clears throat> you can have multiple variables inside a sum. If, if you must write S C U M. And you can see number one, number two. You can have multiple variables or multiple strings and multiple formulas, functions inside some or average or whatever it is. So let me give you an example. If I want to see a max function of this, I open the parenthesis. So here also you can see you can have a multiple numbers, and inside this multiple numbers, you can create your own set of formulas. Uh, sets again, you can make numbers, sorry, sum or whatever inside this also. So, if I select this and I close the parenthesis and then I hit enter, you can see it's a max function. And apart from that, if I go to this and I type min and I select this and I close the parenthesis, I get a min function. If you want to make a sum of those these two, how to do this? Just if you go there and you can first let me copy this control C. So now we'll be going C O M open parenthesis. So this is called number one. And once when you there is a comma over here, this will be called number two. So I will be pasting this. So you can see the parenthesis open and parenthesis close. So we have to close the parenthesis for sum. So if I do this, I get the answer. And again, if I want to check this, I will put in control plus B, but I get a zero over here because cells are not locked. So I'll be showing how to lock a cell in single instance. Now if you select one and if you lock a cell. You can lock cell in this way also. So you can lock cell one by one, or if you do, I'll be showing how to lock cell in one shot. So completely take this formula, select highlighted completely, and now you can hit F4. So cells are locked in one shot. And now if I pull it down, please refer to my video on absolute cell references, absolute. Relative and mixed cell references. So now, if I remove this and if I make it minus, you can see I get a different answer. And now, if I remove this and hit plus, I get a different answer. The answer is same as this. So these are the types of variables inside formulas, inside formulas, which is like building, keep on building logics. Apart from that, if I want to get from other uh, worksheets also. So I suppose I want to get the total of all this, total of this area plus this and this. So if I want just to see, I want to see a total, only the total. So you can type this sum open parenthesis. The number one will be sum open parenthesis comma. Number two will be so number two will be again I will make this as a sum. Open parenthesis. Comma. Sum. Open parenthesis. Close parenthesis. So. Close parenthesis and hit enter. Okay, let's check this number one. 
So I had to close the parentheses over here. So this calls this is number one. I'm sorry, I have to keep the comma over here. End up of this number two. Parenthesis over here. And this is number three. So you should be very careful when typing this again. If I see this sum, sum bt, so you can see. Oh, this is a double duplication over here. So I have to remove this once. There's a duplication, so you can see how inside the sum and inside the sum and inside the sum also we can make a lot of changes. Now, if you if you want, you can this is the sheet number. If you want, you can just remove this also. Okay, so I just kept it purposely. Now we can see it is become one and two. So it was it was a bit confusing, so I just removed that. So I just purposely I kept it so that we can make see how the things keep on changing. So now as I told you how to lock the cells in the shot. So we can select all and now if I want to do another setting, if I go down, I get a different answer. So you can see the things are moving down. So now if I want to lock this, I will be selecting this whole bunch and I will be hitting F4. And I'll be enter. So the same thing I'll be copying this here. Now instead of comma also I can plus add it over here. And I can minus over here. So you can see how the logic is changing. Now if you again if I want I can get a different answer by keeping this minus and this and minus so you can see minus and minus this is plus and minus this is just commas so if you copy this and if I make all this as a plus I want to get the same answer so you can see the same answer so I hope you find this video useful and get a better, better understanding of formulas and how the logic is working for the formulas and how we can create some inside the sums and uh, uh, just for a recap how max and all. So even this also I can change this into average. I can make this into average. So you get a different answer now if I make control Z sum and if I do redo average I get different answer. So I can do for all those things. So I would like you to practice on this max, the mean average and how to get logic inside this formulas functions inside the functions. And uh, I find I hope you find this video useful. Please subscribe to my channel, please hit uh, please share this video so many people can understand the logic and i uh, hope to see you in the next video thanks for watching